Now, I have a lot of sympathy with what they're going to do in Austria because I cannot understand for the life of me why people believe this rubbish on the internet, the anti-vax propaganda. It is deranged. We know there's figures from the Office of National Statistics that say, what is it, you're 32,000 times more likely to die if you've not been double-jabbed from COVID. There's no possible reason, unless you've got underlying health symptoms, not to have the jab. But my worry about doing it is, how do you enforce it? Do you stop everybody in the street? Who's going to stop people in the street? We don't have enough police officers on the beat anyway. So how would you make it work in Britain? Well, you'd, you'd do it through snitches, wouldn't you, Storm? That's, it's, that's, that it's worked. Makes me uneasy. It worked in lockdown. Yeah. We had but people even... saying, get around, we can hear a karaoke. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We did. Well, I think if anyone was having parties, this, it, is this would work. But I don't think even if you called up the police and said, oh, I've seen my neighbour go out to their friend's house, you can't. Like, there's no proof of that if they end up back at their house. Well, yeah, but the thing is, so what the police do is they do spot checks. Right. So so when, when you're at shopping, you might see an officer and the officer says, show me your card. Yeah. Now, if you want to risk having a fake card, you can do it, but you'd be in a lot of trouble. But then what happens if you break the rules? Are they going to... Do they, are they going to imprison them in Austria? Fine. I, I don't, I, there's a question. In because France, well, there was only one... prisons full of unvaccinated people. Sorry. In France, in Paris, there was only one person who was unvaccinated on the platform. And a security guard came up and said, I don't know, well, that'll be 192 or 162 euro fine. So, so how did he know he was unvaccinated? No, no, this was to do with making sure everybody's masked. Yeah. So they're taking very rigorous oh, I see. action. Obviously, he was unmasked. But I, right. nowhere could you go to the museums or anywhere without showing your vaccination mm. yeah. record. Yeah, yeah. Well, we listen, when I go and see the football, as I've mentioned many times, they, 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 they ask to see I'm double vaccinated. This is a crowd of 43,000 yeah, going and, to a football stadium. And people aren't wearing masks. But you're outside. We're outside. And, and in the end, I think they just feel it's a good, it's but, but, reassuring. You but know. we know that the football and the Euros, there was a spike. Uh, yeah. Around the football, around the football stadiums, we know there that. was. I and, don't uh, think here this government would have, would would bring down it this kind of lockdown. The the public opinion would. If be, things went worse, I don't know. I think people I, are a bit intolerant so. of the anti-vax crew.